I check my mails, uh, which is kind of sad. Check my emails. Uh, I check my calendar. Generally, check my calendar. Once I, while I'm having my tea, I check my calendar basically. Go for a jog or a run in the morning. People. Just that people connect and, um, you know, that ability to get in a room, brainstorm on any kind of problems that come our way. We, we, we used to celebrate birthdays, like whenever we have birthdays. So all of us will be like, we'll have cakes and we'll go to the cafeteria. All of us will be there so, uh, with the team to celebrate. Actually, the diverse culture and the experience that uh, the team members bring to the table. Uh, Sometimes having a cup of coffee with them, right, listening to their stories, listening to their challenges. I think it helps you to get balance out. One, there is definitely a good quality of work and life. There is also variety. I got a chance to work on natural language processing, handling textual data. I got to work on computer vision, handling image and visual content, right? Structured data problems, forecasting, optimization. I think since I didn't get typecasted, my breadth to handle challenges increased. I would say the leadership team, they understand the methodology and like they also have a far sight in um, set, right? We get to solve wide varieties of problems. Stimulating. I think uh, an organizer. It's exploratory. Trusted advisor. Being a mentor. Uh, you are intelligent enough to know or differentiate between a Batman versus a Superman. Uh, now that happened because I taught you initially multiple times or probably just one time and you, you picked it up. The same thing I'm trying to make my computer as bright as you. Is Christmas is round the corner, right? So Santa Claus is busy thinking about what gifts he needs to give away to all the kids around the globe, right? Um, so he definitely needs help in making sure that the right toy or the right gift reaches the right child. So that's where probably he may reach out to people like us and uh, help him identify what are those toys, what are those um, kids that will like specific toys. Uh, so what we do is we collect information about all the children around the world, um, what ages they belong to, what demographic they belong to, which geography they belong to, uh, what are the uh, toys that are trending in the market and then help every, you know, put everything together and give that list over to Santa Claus. Oh, I love to travel a lot. Music, I play the piano. Either working um, in my pet projects uh, or like uh, with my kid doing some artworks or something. Largely, you will find me playing board games. Uh, I, one of my best board games uh, that I love playing is Splendor. Um, and uh, the one, the, the other one that we generally spend time on is Catan. I'll be spending a lot of uh, time with my daughter, right? Uh, she has rec recently started watching Harry Potter. So she's, I think, I'm also reading along with her. Different people at different times, right? Um, I think when we were growing up, it's definitely our parents. We watch our parents, we grow, we want to be what our parents are. And then we have teachers that teach us. Uh, and then at work, we have different people that inspires us differently. My mom. She is uh, Sonali Krishnan. Uh, she is Vice President of Viola Water Technologies. And uh, I think uh, ever since day of my career, uh, she has been uh, there. And I'm proud to be associated with her and uh, being under her mentorship. I will name Dr. Shriram Situraman. Uh, he was my first manager in my first company, Ithyam Systems. Uh, I worked with him for four years. He's currently in Amazon. Uh, and I feel blessed that he was my first manager. To an extent, Elon, his way of approaching a problem. So, uh, I love Python and uh, that is majorly because of three reasons. Uh, it is user friendly. Um, as many learning curves I have seen in my teams, it, is, it has the fastest learning curve. And uh, finally, it has the largest resource community out there. Python is much more versatile. It's almost like a duct tape kind of a thing for me. Like I can take Python, use it across um, any kind of a problem. Let's say C versus Python, right? 
Now, if I have to solve a challenge where I need uh, faster execution and let's say faster right uh, response time, speed and speed is a right uh, key requirement. I'll go with C. But if I'm looking for a general purpose language, right, where I want to be more reusable and right, I can uh, leverage a lot of APIs. I'll prefer Python. Uh, so I get to work with some should I